Hi, this is Rich Valant, and I am on Perched on Hollywood Boulevard. You speak of the Academy Awards. You know, you, you wrote for them like a really long time, from 1989 to, to 2014. And, and various hosts like Billy Crystal, Whoopi Goldberg, David Letterman. But what's it like to just, you know, sit in a room and do like, you know, all this writing for, for these shows? And how much is there, you know, changing of what you're doing before it starts? Well, it's, it's different for each host. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of the hosts who have their own television shows have a staff of writers and they bring them over to the Oscar show. And uh, so they generally are only interested in writing for their boss. And so everything has to kind of go through a committee and it, uh, it can be, it can be a little tedious. And they, of course they trust their writers and you're just kind of sitting there saying, I think that could work. No, I don't think that will work. You know, or here's why you can't do that or whatever. And then you wind up writing the rest of the show and contributing to what the host does. When it's somebody like Steve Martin or Whoopi Goldberg uh, or uh, Anne Hathaway and James Franco, <laughs> although he hired a staff of his own. He, he had Seth Rogen come in, not Seth Rogen, Judd Apatow with a bunch of writers from Seth Rogen movies mm-hmm. who, uh, who work on it. But when you work with somebody who doesn't have that Tim Billy Crystal, for example, uh, then you really are, you sit in the room every day and, and figure out where they are in the show, what they follow, what they have to introduce, what the, if there's a theme. We had a producer who did 17 of them, Gil Cates, who always had a theme of the evening, uh, whether you liked it or not. <laughs> uh, and you... you uh, figure out what it's going to be and you kind of put a playbook together of what you will say at this point and what you'll say at that point. In addition to the opening stuff, I mean, with Billy, the opening stuff is like a 20 minute special. Yeah. It grew. It was, the medley was first and then the movie came. The movie was because uh, the year of the English patient, nobody had seen the movies. Had we known the English patient was going to win like nine awards, we would have uh, written a lot about more about that. But the biggest picture that year was Star Wars, the, re- uh-huh. the reissue of, the, of episode four, A New Hope. And that, that came out. And so we, we put Billy in all of these movies because uh, it, it kind of would familiarize the audience with what was actually being awarded that night. Anyway, so uh, on the night itself, no matter who is the host is, uh, I'm on stage uh, in the little host room off stage left, and we are pl- plotting as we go along to see if there's a place where we can do jokes, uh-huh. where we and it would change what we've written. And that started when when Jack Palance. We have to thank for that because uh, he came out. He uh, a year Billy was hosting. Jack was nominated for City Slickers, which was Billy's movie. And he won and came out and he was profane and he did one arm push ups and it was crazy. And because they have a relationship already, Billy could then come out and, as my mother would say, make blunter from him for the rest of the show. <laughs> Just one joke after another. And, uh, and so that became a kind of template and everybody wanted to do a thing like that because they want to, sh- they want to feel like uh, they're in the moment. Uh-huh. And it's a it's a live party, and there's spontaneity. Everything isn't canned, because generally everything is canned except what the winners have to say, and that is often where you get the 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 moment, as with Jack Palance, to come up with something to comment on what they just did, because you know a lot of people behave idiotically when they win these things. They're like, especially now, because the, uh, it's become an industry in itself. I mean the campaigns and, you know, the, I mean, what goes on, it's, it's like, it's, it's right up there with what Joe Biden's doing now. It's, <laughs> it's very tough. I mean, it's, it's, be, so finally when the night comes and it's like, and you won, oh my God, I won. I like, so they get up there and they just like completely forget what they were going to do and go, <laughs> do something yeah. ridiculous. And we, we, of course we pray for that. If we kill, if we don't get that, it's better you get somebody who really has prepared and really knows what they're doing and has mm-hmm. something good to say. The worst is when you get somebody who's just up there hemming and hawing and doing a laundry list of thank yous and, and all of that. But, but I've said too much. 
Yeah, and then the light fades down on him and goes to commercial break. <laughs> oh, worse, the band comes up. They get the bums rush in rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've seen plenty of that when I watch those. <laughs>